Hi, I'm Mike Osley, the research agronomist here at the Carrington Research Extension Center. Uh, today I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss uh, some of the results and maybe some of the recommendations that we have uh, involving the combination of glyphosate and glufosinate, otherwise known as Roundup and Liberty. So in, in recent years we've had an expanded use of uh, several chemistries in our row crops, not because there's new chemistries, but because uh, the herbicide traits have allowed uh, increased use of some of the older products that we may be familiar with. But um, only in very recent years have some of these row crops included multiple herbicide resistance traits where we can combine the glyphosate glufosinate in season. So one of the main concerns with this is that uh, there may be some antagonism uh, between the two products and we really wanted to investigate that further. So starting in 2018, we began evaluating uh, the combination of glyphosate and glufosinate on troublesome weeds. In 2020, we've expanded that to include uh, specifically kochia. And at this particular site, uh, roughly 40% of the kochia population is resistant to glyphosate. So it's really a good place to start testing whether or not we're seeing any antagonism between the two products. Uh, because we know kochia can be problematic for both chemistries. And so what happens now when we start combining uh, both of them together? Uh, let me walk you through uh, some of the results that we've uh, found so far. Just to clarify uh, some of our treatments, the kochia that was sprayed out here was uh, roughly two inches or less uh, when we made the applications. Uh, currently, the kochia is quite a bit larger than that, uh, and it just grew that much here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but that's been the goal, is to try and come into uh, these studies with uh, timings where the product should be effective. In the past years, uh, when we've had common lambs quarters or wild buckwheat, uh, the same is true. We're generally dealing with uh, four to eight leaf uh, weeds when we spray them. So big, uh, but we should be able to still get that effective control uh, with either product. So moving on to the results. Uh, we have a couple of years now where we're able to get some good evaluations of weed species using both products alone or together, including some uh, combinations that include in list. So uh, what we tried to do was use a standard rate of 32 ounces of Liberty uh, and 28 ounces of Roundup Power Max as our standard and then we would uh, either reduce the rate of the Roundup or increase the rate of the Liberty in certain situations to uh, see if we can't tease out some differences. So uh, in this first slide, we have uh, several weed species uh, and looking at evaluations both uh, soon after application and then uh, some sometime in the, in the uh, uh, future. Yeah. Uh, a couple of the first things to note here were where we saw some really big differences in the past is looking at uh, wild buckwheat actually. That's one of our key species here uh, because it was in fact the only instance we've had so far where we've seen a benefit to combining the products. So in this case we had uh, really fast and good control with our initial Liberty application and creating a situation where there's 80% or more control. And it was kind of cool uh, when these applications were made. And so uh, they took a while for the glyphosate to catch up. But if you skip ahead from seven days over to 21 days, you can see that um, in the long run, the glyphosate still provided uh, very good control. Now, 
when you start looking at the different combinations of treatments, there wasn't a lot of difference between the, the different rates, uh, but we did see uh, uh, the, the fast-acting Liberty show up on all the evaluations, but with the glyphosate, that activity was maintained through 20 days after application, uh, whereas with Liberty alone, the control started to be reduced. And so you kind of got the benefit of both the Liberty and the glyphosate. So uh, that is our one example where we saw any kind of benefit to combining them. Most of the time, whether we're talking about common lambs quarters or some of the other weeds, we saw no benefit uh, but no real antagonism. Now the other two species on the, the slide, both the kochia and the green foxtail, uh, we saw situations where we had reduced activity when we had the combination compared to either product alone. And so with the green foxtail, which we know the Roundup is, should be really strong on, uh, we indeed saw very good activity and the Liberty, which we know uh, will not take out the green foxtail on its own, struggled a bit. Uh, but then when we combined them, we mostly just saw a control rating between the two. So a clear situation of the Liberty antagonizing the activity of the glyphosate. <clears throat> and we saw something a little similar with the kochia and this was in 2019. Neither product performed very well on that application, uh, but then when we combined them, the, uh, the final result was even worse. And so, and that's really what led us up to our 2020 trial. In 2020, we wanted this trial to specifically focus on glyphosate resistant weeds. And the site we're working on has glyphosate resistant kochia and roughly 40 percent of the population is surviving our glyphosate application so we still have a fairly high amount of the population that's susceptible um, and then some that isn't uh, we also have um, uh, similar trials occurring at other sites that involve uh, both kochia and water hemp and we'll be able to summarize those uh, here at the end of the season. Uh, but for now, the, the story on this particular site is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have uh, really good activity with our Liberty here. And in fact, uh, upwards of 90 to 95% in all of our replications of this treatment. Uh, and when we look at our glyphosate then, our, our glyphosate treatment is, is certainly showing a lower percent, uh, roughly 60% uh, control over the entire plot area. Uh, and the story is simple because when we look at applying both products together, at any rate, in any combination, the Liberty is really driving the control. And so since with Liberty alone, we were getting already 95% control, whenever we had Liberty with glyphosate, we were still always getting roughly that same amount of control. And we really don't have any instances where the glyphosate was negatively impacting the Liberty. And that's not really what we'd expect anyway. Uh, if we're going to see antagonism, it's going to be the, uh, the Liberty antagonizing the glyphosate. We don't expect to see the glyphosate antagonizing the Liberty because the Liberty is fast acting it's going to burn back that tissue fast. And so if you see antagonism uh, with the two products combined, it's going to be because the glyphosate wasn't able to get into the plant uh, before the necrosis occurred and the, and the leaves dried up. 
And so that's why when we are using this system, we really want to tailor it to our Liberty application. We want to pretend like we're applying Liberty and uh, you just happen to have some glyphosate with it to uh, improve some of the grass weed control. Uh, your other options would be adding uh, something like a select or, or an assure uh, for that grass control anyway. So the bottom line is uh, the story is not very simple because we have many situations where we saw no benefit to adding both products together and we have several situations where we're seeing some antagonism uh, often in the range of about a drop of 10 percent in control uh, and when we have only one instance where we saw benefit so if, if a person's looking to make an application with both products, you, you just have to understand that uh, you, it may not be economical in most cases. The best management practice is still to lead with your liberty and follow it up with your uh, glyphosate application on your next pass. You want that liberty early in the season to help take care of all those early emerging weeds when they're small. And then later in the season, uh, follow it up with the uh, glyphosate application to uh, help clean up any stragglers. Thanks for listening in. I hope you enjoyed this and good luck controlling those weeds this year. Mm -hmm.